Did you know that emotions directly affect your body? Stress, anxiety, or depression can change how your immune system and heart work and even influence how quickly your wounds heal. Stress and colds. Scientists ran some fascinating experiments. They exposed people with different stress levels to a cold virus. The results? Those living under constant tension got sick much more often. Stress really weakens the immune system and makes us more vulnerable. Wound healing. Here's another fact. People who were caring for seriously ill relatives had slower healing, even from small cuts. Why? Ongoing stress slows down the body's recovery processes. The heart and emotions. Depression and anxiety increase the risk of heart disease. For example, after a heart attack, patients with depression recovered worse. But when depression was treated with psychotherapy, the risk of new heart problems dropped. Quick note, we'll leave links to all the research in the description below. There, you'll also find a link to the Paramed online store with reliable blood pressure monitors and stethoscopes. Let's continue. The gut and emotions. Have you heard of irritable bowel syndrome? It's when the stomach hurts for no clear medical reason. In these cases, psychological therapy, even without medication, can ease pain and discomfort. This proves once again that the brain and the body work as one system. The power of placebo and nocebo. Here's something incredible. If you give someone a sugar pill and tell them it's pain medicine, the brain itself triggers pain relief mechanisms. The person really feels better, even though there's no actual drug. On the flip side, with the nocebo effect, if you say a pill causes side effects, people may feel them even if they only took a vitamin. This shows how our expectations and emotions can shape real physical sensations. How does it all work? When we experience stress or strong emotions, hormones like cortisol and adrenaline rise in the blood. They're useful for escaping danger, but if this state continues too long, the immune system weakens, blood vessels suffer, and inflammation increases. That's what affects the course of many diseases, and placebo and nocebo remind us. Even our thoughts and expectations can activate or block these processes. The conclusion. So emotions are not just mood. They have real power to influence our health. And if you catch any virus, don't stress out about it. Don't give the illness that advantage. Taking care of mental well-being is not a luxury. It's part of disease prevention. Good sleep, physical activity, meditation, connecting with loved ones, or therapy. All of this helps you feel better emotionally and keeps your body healthier too. Subscribe to our channel for more useful health videos. Take care of yourself.